The reason I said 100% God and 100% man is actually from man, not from the Bible. You don't see that verse in the Bible, do you? Well, we see the understanding. The understanding comes from the Bible. Ah, you know, earlier you told me don't use your own understanding. Right. Use what is in the scripture. No, but, but now you're using your own understanding. No, but hold on. What did I say? I said the understanding comes from the Bible. I didn't say I have to understand it. Yeah, but what do you call it? 100% man, 100% God is yeah. not from the Bible. It is from the Bible. Show me which verse says that. <laughs> I have, I'd faith. be very surprised if you actually show me that this, quote. This comes by, no, you're not going to see a direct quote that says 100% God and 100% man. Yeah, go, go, show me something close to that, God. Yes, right. John 1. Verse John 1, 1? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right? The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Right? And this is speaking about... So where does it say that Jesus is God then? Let's analyze that. When he says in the beginning, mm -hmm. does God have a beginning? In the beginning of all things. That was, that's no, no, no. Does God have a beginning? He has no beginning, no end. Thank you very much. So when he says in the beginning, okay. yes, the word was with God. It's not talking about the eternal yes. life. It's talking about the beginning of creation, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps. So that doesn't prove that Jesus is God. No, the whole point of me coming here was to present the understanding to you that God is 100%. I mean, Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% man. Then verse 14, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to finish on this. It says, and the word was made flesh yeah. and dwelt among us. Okay. So the word was God and he became flesh. Oh. So he's 100% God and 100% man. No, it's not. You you added the 100%, it's not in there. Sure, I'll tell you something. Go so and read. Is it 50%? No, no, wait. No, no, I'll, I'll tell you why you're wrong. Okay. The the term God doesn't mean God. Do you agree or do you disagree with that? The term God doesn't mean God. Yeah, because the, devil, the devil is called God. The angels are called God. Sometimes even the uh, even, even the judges are called God. Read, you know, you read the book of John? Yeah. Sorry, the gospel of John? Open John 10, 34. And let's see if somebody else is called God. Is that when he says, you, he are called God? Yes, yes. absolutely. Right. So you see the term God doesn't mean almighty God. So it, it only shows that there is certain people who have been given certain authority. Yeah. And they are referred to as God. Yeah. When you say begotten, even the term begotten yeah. means yeah. means it has a beginning. Being brought forth. Exactly. So when I, when somebody is bought, brought forth, yeah. they cannot be God, because God is God cannot be brought forth. God doesn't have a beginning. He given son. He gave his son to us. The term begotten means there has there, there was a beginning. Yeah. Can you show me that in your in your, in your dictionary? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. Mean Any dictionary? Yeah, yeah. To, to become of something. Yeah, exactly. It means so it has a source. Huh? It has a source. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you're attaching. No. The understanding to it, but if you look you in have the dictionary, to. go look in the dictionary, no problem. Look yeah. in the dictionary, you'll, you'll find the same answer, <laughs> all right, all right. and then you'll stop laughing. Uh, let me ask you, was the father ever begotten? No, exactly. Yeah. Do you agree with that? The father wasn't begotten, yeah. Yeah. of course. Which dictionary are you looking at? What does it say? Yeah, go on. What does it okay, say? Read it aloud. Yeah, I need to... No, no, read it aloud. I need to find the proper that's a proper one. Proper one. Why don't you read it? Well, it says, brought into existence, yeah, by exactly. Or yeah. by a parent, he didn't send his only begotten son through a whirlwind, yes. So, so brought into existence means he didn't exist before and he was brought into existence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, beginning, start. By the way, do, do you agree with the statement? Begotten, son. Do you agree with the statement I just made earlier? What? The father was never begotten. Yes. Do you agree with that statement? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Why are you shaking your head? Yes or no? Oh, yes. Yes, no. yes, you agree? Yeah. Was the son begotten? Yes, he was okay, so what does that mean? Yeah. When one when one entity, which is a father, yeah. is not begotten and the other entity is begotten, it shows that one had a beginning, the other was eternal. Are you with me? I hear what you're saying. Yeah, so it proves, again, the point that I'm making, that Jesus cannot be God if he had a beginning. Because anyone who has a beginning means he's caused by someone, you know? And we believe that God is the uncaused cause. No one caused him. He always existed eternally. That is the definition of God Almighty, which Jesus doesn't fit.